Hey everyone, it is Mike the Dad Nerd here, and there are two products that I really enjoy using on a day-to-day -day basis, and that is one, Unraid, and two, Home Assistant. So a lot of people have installed Home Assistant on a Raspberry Pi, which is great, but a lot of us have Unraid servers at home with the ability to run a VM, and a VM in Unraid is a fantastic way to run Home Assistant. It gives us more than enough power, and you already have the machine on 24-7, so why not use it? to install Home Assistant, and it's actually pretty simple. So there are two main ways to install Home Assistant on Unraid. The first one you'll actually find in Community Applications, and that runs it as a Docker. But there's actually a better way to run Home Assistant. Running Home Assistant as a VM on Unraid allows you to have the Supervisor tab. Now the Supervisor tab in Home Assistant is extremely useful. It gives you the add-on store and also lets you do things like snapshots, reboot the system, all from one really easy tab. And from what I've learned, because I've run it both ways, the add-on store alone is enough reason to walk through this step-by-step -step tutorial and get it installed as a VM. And I promise you, it is extremely easy. I would say almost as easy as going to community applications and installing it via Docker. Just a few more steps and you'll be on your way, you'll have it set up as a VM, and you'll be really happy you did. As you start to dive into Home Assistant more, you'll find that you really will want to add those add-ons. So I, I really implore you guys to do it as a VM, and I'm going to show you how right now. Now the first thing you're going to need to do is to get the image for Home Assistant from the Home Assistant GitHub. All the links for this will be down in the description below, so you can just click on those links, it'll take you right there. But once you get to the Home Assistant GitHub, go to the Operating System option, then you're going to go to Releases, and right here you want to go for the latest release. Really important to get the latest from Home Assistant, to go with the latest release. You're going to scroll down to Assets, and this may be collapsed, so open it up. And what we're looking for here for Unraid is the HasOS OVA, and you're looking for the QCOW2 image file. So we're going to go ahead and download that. If you click on it, it should start downloading. All right, so once the file is finished downloading, you will need to uncompress the file, so use whatever tool in Windows you use to do that. But in the end, you will end up with a file ending in QCOW2, and that's the file we need. So now we're going to head over to Unraid and make sure our system is set up to start up a new VM. So when we're over in Unraid, there's really two main settings we need to make sure that are on. First of all, we need to make sure that VMs are turned on in general. So if you go to your Settings tab, when you go to your VM manager, just make sure that you've enabled VMs. If it's set to no, click yes and click apply. The next thing we'll need is a folder to put the image in. Now, if you've been running Unraid for a while, you probably already have the domains share. So if we go to shares, you should have one called domains. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set this to export via SMB. That way you can access the share from your Windows machine and drop the file in. So if you don't have the domain share, create it. And then after that, make sure that export is set to yes for domains. So now with all the Unraid settings done, we can go back to our machine and we can access the domain share from the network. So if you go to your network tab, go to the name of your Unraid server and go to domains, and you'll see I actually already have two images here. But we're gonna copy in the new one, so take that newly downloaded file and just go ahead and drop it right in. And it's gonna transfer over, it shouldn't take too long. The file has completed the transfer, and I'm going to take note of the name just to make sure that I use the right image file. If this is the only one in your folder, you don't have to worry about it, but if you have any other VMs, Windows VMs, anything where you have dropped an image file in here, make sure you take note of the name, so I'm going to know that it's the 5.10 version that I'm going to be referencing. Now we're going to head back over to your Unraid dashboard, and we're going to head to the VMs tab over here. You'll see that I actually already have Home Assistant running, but we're going to create a fresh one from scratch, just so you guys can see how it's done. So you're going to click on Add VM, then you're going to click on Linux, and here's where we start to enter some of the data for Home Assistant. So I'm just going to call this Home Assistant Test. Here we can tell it how many CPU cores we want, logical and physical. So I'm going to give it uh, two here. So let's actually go with the two and six slot. Here on initial memory, I like to give it at least two gigs of RAM. Everything else will step the same, but for primary VDisk, we're actually going to click on manual. And you're going to click here to show it where we saved that disk. So if we go to user, 
domains. And here's that 5.10 QCOW2 image. Click on the actual image. And for the primary VDisk bus, you want to switch this to SATA. So we have switched that to SATA. Now scrolling down, there's only a few other options. If you do have any sort of USB devices that you want to pass through the Home Assistant VM, this may be a Zigbee or Z-Wave controller, make sure you select those in the USB devices. For example, on my main Home Assistant VM, this is actually my Zigbee controller. So I would want to pass that through, through so you would just put a check mark there. But after that, we're just going to click Create. So obviously the system is now setting up. It should open up this window for you to see how it's been running. And now that we have gotten to the login page, we know that it is up and running and ready to go. So, all right, so the final step is to actually open up your web browser and go to the URL to make sure your Home Assistant instance is actually running. So the default URL, and I'll put it in the description below, is actually HTTP Home Assistant dot local colon 8123. Now for me, since I already have an instance running, or for you if you run into problems with that URL, you can actually do it via the IP address. So you can head over to your router and check and see what IP address it has assigned Home Assistant. So for me, it assigned it 10.0.1.182. So all I do is do HTTP colon slash slash 10.0.1.182 colon 8123 and click enter and you'll be brought to this screen right here. And this screen is the setup screen for Home Assistant. So you are now ready to input your information and get Home Assistant set up. There are a bunch of videos out there on how to go from this point forward to set up Home Assistant, but now you have the virtual machine running on Unraid and you are ready to go. So I hope this helped you guys out, get up and running with Home Assistant in Unraid in what I see as the right way, running it as a VM so you have full access to the supervisor. If you guys do run into any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. I read all the comments. I'll try to respond to you and see if I can help out if you do run into any issues. Hit that like button if this helped you. Definitely subscribe here at the Dad Nerd site. We love to provide you guys with all sorts of tutorials on everything tech related, especially around the home. But until I see you guys next time, tech on.